Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Ramsey. The federal budget will be handed down tonight with a heavy focus on Australia's COVID-19 recovery. Major spending announcements have already been made with $10 billion set to go towards aged care. Infrastructure projects, defence and women's health and childcare will also see money flow. Senior PwC economist Jeremy Thorpe says spending is focused on inequity. What we need to see is reforms coming out of this budget that also stimulate long-run economic growth. That means that future debt doesn't become a problem. There'll also be cash to keep Australia's borders closed. Chris Richardson from Deloitte Access Economics says while it's had an impact on the migrant workforce, there are benefits. It's a very direct way to keep COVID out and it comes with pretty high cost, but it's working. Watch COVID numbers and watch confidence. Those two things will tell you what happens in the coming year. The British government has announced COVID-19 restrictions will be eased next Monday. Pubs, restaurants, cinemas and B&Bs will reopen along with concert halls, theatres and sport venues. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson says people will no longer be confined to their home. Everyone will be able to travel within Britain and stay overnight, meaning schools will also be able to organise trips with overnight stays. We will no longer require face coverings in classrooms. Richmond won't be taking any action against Daniel Rioli and Shai Bolton after they were injured in a nightclub fight at the weekend. Bolton suffered a broken wrist while Rioli required stitches under his eye after confronting a man who allegedly verbally abused his partner. Bolton is expected to miss up to three weeks of footy. And three people remain in a critical condition following yesterday's supermarket attack in New Zealand. They were among five people injured in Dunedin after a man armed with two knives attacked shoppers and staff. To sport, Brisbane is firming his favourite to sign South Sydney half Adam Reynolds on a four-year deal. It comes as the Sharks increase their offer for Reynolds to replace Chad Townsend, who's heading to the Cowboys next year. In tennis, Alex Dimonor has been beaten in the first round of the Italian Open going down to Gianna Luca Marga 6463. And in basketball, one game in the NBL tonight, the Illawarra Hawks at home to the Adelaide 36ers. Lots in entertainment, it appears. Benefa is back. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck kicking their renewed friendship up a knot by spending the weekend together. The former couple spotted together in Montana. They dated from 2002 to 2004 before getting engaged, calling off their 2003 wedding, getting back together again before calling it quits again in 2004. Tom Cruise is the latest celeb to protest against a lack of diversity within the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. The actor returned his three Golden Globe Awards. There are currently no people of colour among the HFPA's 86 members. Earlier this week, Scarlett Johansson called out the organisation's sexist nature. And Prince Harry and Oprah Winfrey's mental health docuseries will air later this month. The series, called The Me You Can't See, comes two months after the talk show Queen's tell-all interview with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Lady Gaga and Glenn Close are among the stars to open up about their own battles. That's your latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.